Well, with summer over and the school year in full gear, this is one of the most critical times of the year for food donations for families who need it. 10 News reporter Melissa Masiha shows us why the longest running food pantry in the North County is struggling to survive. By the end of the day, the shelves here at the food pantry look like this, empty. And those who run the pantry say this is one of the toughest times of the year. Is this a baby? Austin Childress and Sarah Everson are young parents trying to provide for their three-month-old daughter, Trinity. But it isn't easy with Austin balancing between early morning hours as a window washer and afternoon classes. Especially being, you know, the dad and stuff, and the, uh, you have to support your family. They applied for food stamps but must wait a few days for their interview. That's what brought them here to Interfaith Community Services. Came in here to get a, a food box to... Uh, Hopefully last till then. Their application for emergency food shows they're indeed struggling. The food pantry provides more than 302,000 meals a year, helping more than 25,000 people in the North County. But these full shelves are deceiving. 10 News visited the pantry in the morning hours, but... In uh, three hours, the shelves are going to all be empty, and that's when it gets kind of stressful. Soup, fruit, uh, tuna... Jerry Morgan says the period after summer food drives and before the holidays are the worst, the lowest time for donations. I have no budget to buy food for the food pantry, so when, when we run out of food, we run out of food. Right now, they're pleading with the public to give. There's no minimum level required. And those on the receiving end say they couldn't survive without it. So I would like to thank them for, you know, doing their donations. Um, definitely isn't easy. Help for those giving help. Thank you. You can get it loaded okay? Yeah. During the most crucial time of the year. In Escondido, Melissa Masiha, 10 News.